Lindley. Time. Throws. Touchdown! Gavin Escobar with an unbelievable one-handed catch. How about it? When San Diego State tight end Gavin Escobar isn't on the field making one-handed catches, blocking for his running backs, or hurdling defenders on his way to the end zone, he keeps himself busy with a unique off-the-field hobby, one that many would not expect from a football player. He paints. I first started painting just when I was a little kid, but uh, my mom got me into painting when uh, probably about seventh grade. She got me into acrylic painting, and once I hit high school, I started taking painting classes. So been rolling ever since then. It gives me a chance to kind of get away from everything if I'm feeling stressed or anything. Just kind of painting relaxes me. Uh, I just like to do things that are appealing to look at for me. So if I like a certain scene, a beach scene, uh, I just like to paint things that I would like to look at and my friends like to look at. And that's the, uh, I get the most satisfaction uh, when other people get to see my paintings and enjoy the paintings that I do. I like to look at other paintings and other artists and get inspiration from them, as well as just doing random uh, things that come through my head. What are some of your favorite paintings that you've done? Uh, probably my most recent paintings. Those are the ones I'm most excited about. Uh, I recently did one that was based off this artist I like. It's a, it's a big wave crashing on the beach, and it's probably my favorite recent painting. I, I do really enjoy giving them to friends and uh, family so they can also enjoy it in their house. So that's, uh, I get a lot out of that, uh, giving away paintings, but I also like keeping some of my favorites to look at myself. Back at home with uh, my family, we have tons of painting between me and my mom, and uh, I took a bunch from back home, and so I'm just putting them in my house right now, just letting everyone experience them. So talk to me about your inspiration for these paintings you got hanging up here. Uh, well, I'll start with this one. This is my roommate, Jake, you know. I did one of myself, too, but I thought I would do one with my roommate, and. Uh, we both had them hanging up in the dorms and now they're in our house right now, so that one I really like. It turned out good. I like doing uh, some waves, some scenery, and also uh, Giants. They're my favorite football team growing up, so I like to do a lot of football paintings. And uh, at the time, Brandon Jacobs was on the team, so he was probably my favorite player at the time. While art can be an escape for Escobar, his primary focus is always on football. And when the season rolls around, he only has so much time to paint. During the season, uh, there's really not much time. Maybe on Mondays for about, a, I get like a two hour break or something, or during the day, I'll uh, try and uh, paint a little bit, but there's really not much time during the season. It's mostly during the summer or off season. In his three seasons at San Diego State, Escobar has established himself as one of the top tight ends in the country. This season, he was one of eight semifinalists for the Mackey Award, an award given annually to the top tight end in the country. In his career as an Aztec, Escobar has 121 receptions, over 1,600 receiving yards, and 17 touchdowns, all of which are more than any other tight end in school history. A unique blend of size and athleticism, the 6'6", 255-pound Escobar has loads of NFL potential, but he will never forget his experience at San Diego State. Uh, it's been a great journey coming to San Diego State. Uh, you know, I came in playing tight end for the first time and being able to play a lot, you know, it's just been a great journey with all my teammates. 